Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Today we are back on the 289 engine rebuild, and today we're going to install cylinder heads. Okay, um, if you're new to the channel, um, little things that can help us to produce more videos, uh, which are, I hope, helpful to everybody. Um, it's just hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel, follow us along here, and, and hopefully that's helpful for everybody. So, when doing the cylinder heads, first thing, obviously, we're going to need um, the gasket, and um, there's not a whole lot to this. The biggest thing you really want to watch out for is that you're installing this gasket uh, correctly. Now, most gaskets, uh, we're using a Felpro, it'll be kind of like printed in here uh, where it says front, okay? Because you can install this incorrectly like this, um, but you're gonna run into um, a lot of issues if you do that. So um, it needs to be installed like this. And so, um, and then you'll kind of know because this corner will be kind of sticking out uh, from underneath the cylinder head and then you'll kind of know that it is installed correctly without removing the head. Um, but yeah, it does say front right there, and we're going to install it just like that. Okay, so we're going to install our dowel pins here, here on the bottom. It's kind of got a, a recess to put in your dowel pins, so definitely want to put those in first. And, and again, like it says front, this gasket can go on either way like it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter if it's you know the, the blue is up or the blue is down as long as it says front right here then you're gonna be good so, so those go on just like that and now we're ready to bring the cylinder head over put her on and get some bolts started okay so we're gonna try and set this on nice and even so we're not like sliding around Get it right in the dowel pin and okay. So that should be good. Make sure your engine stands locked down because you don't want anything rolling around on you. And get some new bolts in here. You can reuse these old bolts. They're not like modern cylinder heads where they're like a tortilla bolt. Um, but I, don't, I just like to get new bolts just you know once they're like 50 years old 55 years old almost 60 it might be a good idea to get some new bolts so it's just kind of one of those things they're relatively inexpensive from national parks depot you can get nice new cylinder head bolt kits for these so um another thing about these cylinder heads is they um they went to the machine shop and they were had all the valve seals all done and uh, retainers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to cover anything as far as how to rebuild the cylinder heads. Um, I tend to just send my stuff out to my machine shop, uh, Jensen Automotive out of Ogden, Utah. Um, they also put in like the, the hardened exhaust seats so you can run modern fuel through there. So, but um, yeah. As far as what I'm going to cover is we're just going to bolt them on and then build the valve train on another video, but okay. Okay, so now we're going to torque, torque our cylinder head off. Okay, we're going to go in three passes. First pass I'm going to do 50 pounds, second pass I'm going to do 60 foot pounds, and then the final pass you have a range of 65 to 72. I'll probably go right somewhere in the middle right there, a good happy number. So you want to start in the middle. So you're going to do these first two bolts right here. And then you're going to come to the next four right here. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to do the outside four. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to start right here in the middle. We're going to 50 pounds. I do like to go slow because I like to feel how things are going. I also like to use a very nice torque wrench. 
because I like things to be precise. So that is one tool that I don't like to uh, cheap out on as a torque wrench. Okay, round two, we're now going to 60. Okay, round three, and we're gonna take this to 68. Okay, now we're moving over to the other side. We got our dowel pins in. We're nice and clean. We got our gasket on. The front is uh, towards the front, not towards the rear. And so we're installed correctly and now we can get the cylinder head in place. Get a couple of bolts started before I walk away from it. Okay, now we're good to get all of our bolts in and get them torqued down just like the other side. Okay, we have cylinder heads on. Probably one of the easier things of building your engine is just slapping some heads on. You just gotta watch out for, you know, those head gaskets, make sure they're installed correctly, get your dowel pins in, and torque her down in the right sequence, and you should be fine. So, 
but this is just uh, kind of coming right together. Um, as always, appreciate you being here, appreciate you watching. I hope this is, uh, whole build series is helpful. If you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button on the video. It does help us uh, grow and help us to produce more videos for you guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you.